What is the biggest danger you think that is facing China today? The single biggest danger is complacency, um, and this was something we talked about in China a fair bit, that people drop their guard uh, against this disease. This is still the same virus um, that caused the situation we see and still dealing with in Wuhan. It is still a very serious situation and a very concerning virus that can wreak havoc. And the moment we drop our guard, a virus like this is going to take advantage. It's going to start to spread again. Um, and one of the things that most impressed me in China was as I spoke to governors and mayors in different provinces, even though cases were coming down, they were still building beds, buying respirators because they said, look, if this happens again or cases start to increase as we, as children go back to school, mm -hmm. as factories reopen, we have to be prepared for it. And I think the in really, really striking thing in China is as you've had importations, you've found them quickly, found their contacts, got them isolated, and demonstrated again to the world that this is manageable, whether the disease arises from within the country or you get importations. But complacency is always the biggest risk when it I comes see. to dealing with a virus, any disease, when it's in decline. Well, now we know the number of confirmed cases have been rising very fast. And as you said earlier, things are happening fast in yeah. this epidemic. So uh, anything they could do? This virus moves very fast. It's that exponential growth that you're trying to prevent. And uh, what we're seeing in Italy, what we're seeing in Korea, um, is exactly that situation. But that's not the situation everywhere. A lot of countries have really taken to heart what they've learned from China and what we've been talking about. They're rapidly finding these cases, rapidly containing them, using the principles that uh, China employed. They're not learning from scratch. I think what we're seeing in the rest of the world are two, possibly three patterns. Um, and it's not unlike what we saw within different areas of China. What we're seeing is sporadic importations in places, um, take Canada for example. They've had a, a number of cases, they're getting found quickly, they're quickly acting on them, following exactly the same public health principles you employ in China. And then we have a separate situation where we're getting undetected spread early on and then that exponential growth which takes off and gets you in trouble.